Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, I decided to reshoot this because I shot it early, but I shot it in 720, and um, it's taking way too long to upload. So let's get this started. Um, first one I picked up is a uh, Terminator slip cover. Only the slip cover. Uh, you know how I do this. I buy the movie and I return the movie and I keep the slip cover. So this is the Terminator One slip cover, I believe. Swamp Meat Searcher had a contest for this. I entered. And I lost as usual, so um, yeah. So I went out about this, but um, I want to talk to you guys about the cover art. Now this is the cover art for the Terminator DVD. Okay. Now I took it out. I made this into a two pack, which is the DVD and the Blu-ray. I bought the two, uh, the two sided discs, uh, two sided case, and I put them in there. Now this is the original artwork, and that's the DVD. I prefer the DVD over this one because it's like a shiny type of Thing. So anyways, that's what I did with this one. Two discs now instead of a one disc. So in case someone wants to borrow it that doesn't have a, uh, doesn't have a Blu-ray player, they can borrow it. So anyways. Okay. That's one. Next one is Raging Bull. Um, comes highly recommended from Clay Singer. Um, I haven't had time to watch it yet because I'm kind of backed up, but I will watch it eventually. And I did get up to sleep because I went to go visit my mother-in-law because she had minor surgery. And there was a Best Buy in town. I stopped by and bam, picked up five bucks. Trade and save, okay? Clay, I will check it out and I will let you know what I think of it. And if I hate it, I'll tell you, bro. I didn't like it. If I like it, I'll tell you I liked it. Why am I going to try to lie, okay? Next one is Smoking Aces. The, the one reason I picked this up and the one reason only is because it has... Ryan Reynolds and Jason Bateman and I actually absolutely love them in the movie The Change Up. If you haven't seen it, check it out, man. They make a great, great duo in this movie. Check it out. It's a really good comedy. So, but back to the movie. Um, Smoking Aces, seen it once. Don't remember it. Want to revisit it. And I hope it's as good as I kind of remember it somewhat. Actually, I don't. But anyways, I'll check this out. Five bucks. Trade and save. Gone in 60 seconds. Nicolas Cage. I like Nicolas Cage and I also love Angelina Jolie. I remember Angelina Jolie in a movie back in the day called um, Hackers. You guys have seen that? Let me know what you guys think about it. I love that movie. I can watch it over and over and over and over and over and over again because it's about computers and um, it's all around great flick. But uh, this movie right here uh, was $16.99. Got a price match for $13 at Walmart and then with $5 on the trading save, got a 8 bucks and some change. Okay? Eight bucks, eight bucks is in change for some more good movie. Next one are slip covers I picked up at Walmart. Um, Avatar. Bought the movie, returned it, kept the slip for my movie. Okay. One slip. Next one is Platoon. Um, bought the movie, returned it, kept the slip for my movie. Uh, this is a really nice, really, really nice slip cover. I really like this one. I'm glad I got hold of this one. Been wanting it. Next one is the worst of cover. Um, as you can tell, I still haven't figured out the, the art of removing these stickers, so um, I will figure it out. Warrior, yes, nice slip cover. Next ones are Halloween 1. Now, um, this movie is classic. If you don't like this movie, I'm sorry, but there's something wrong with you. Go get some help. This movie is fucking awesome, okay? And the picture quality is fucking amazing yes I said it effing amazing okay it's amazing go check it out if you haven't seen it it's oh my god this movie is just mwah. if it had feelings I would marry it I would marry this movie if it had feelings Halloween part one next one is uh, Halloween part two um you know the thing I like about this movie the most that it, it it continues right where this one left off right when Michael gets Shoved off the balcony from getting shot six times. He's like, I shot him six times. I shot him six times. So, I love movies like that. To start off exactly where the last one left off. And, um, great flick. Quality is... For a movie being this old, man, to look that good on Blu-ray, I gotta give it to you, man. Whoever did the transfer on these two, awesome, man. Awesome movie, awesome transfer, and awesome picture quality and audio. Okay? Pick them up. Next one is uh, The Curse of Michael Myers. Now, I haven't seen this in a long time. I kind of 
not forgot, but I kind of got out of horror for a while. Thank you, Andrew Bellina, for getting me back into it because he's like all horror big time, you know? So I picked this up because he got me back into it. And I sent him something, and I'm hoping he'll get it soon. So anyways, in this movie, um, Michael Myers, if it is him or not, I didn't really understand it too well. But this guy's pissed off, man. He's just killing everybody. And he's killing them, you know, wow. This is one part where he picks up this guy, and grabs a skull, and he rams him to some, some black bars from like a prison, like a door. And the whole door falls down with the guy's head. I'm like, dude, that's one strong motherfucker. So anyways, Chris and Michael Myers. Now, if any of you guys remember this, if you guys can explain the ending to me. Because I know there's an alternate ending where um, that one, the, this, some guy dies and he tries to tell uh, Mr. Pleasance, the, the, his, uh, Michael's um, psychiatrist, that it's your time to be the guardian, to be Michael's guardian or something of that sort. I didn't really understand it, but if you guys have anything, if you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know because I'm still kind of confused. Cause I know there's like uh, nine parts to, to Halloween, so I'm trying to get back into watching them, see where they all go. But anyways, I like this movie. A lot of people didn't like it from what I heard. But in this one, it's just... This is Michael Myers is crazy. This is the Michael Myers you want to see. He just starts off killing, 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 killing. Anyways, good flick. Fifth Element, Bruce Willis. Um, the girl from the Resident Evil series. And um, Chris Tucker. A very, very young Chris Tucker. And you know this, man. Um, great sci-fi movie. Um, a lot of action. A uh, really good flick for eight bucks at Walmart. You can't beat it. I liked it. Thirty Days a Night, another eight dollar movie at Walmart. Um, what can I say, man? This movie is cool because where else would you want to go to eat than a place that has thirty days a night? You know what I'm saying? You could be out and about all day. You could just suck all the blood you want because people are just out and about. Anyways, good flick, and I always pick this up because of Josh Hartnett. He also played in a movie called The Faculty, which I really enjoyed. I'm trying to pick this up. I'm trying to find it. But it's kind of expensive, man. But um, I'm going to pick it up eventually because that is a really, really good movie. You know who else is in is the kid from um, uh, Lord of the Rings. Elijah, what's his name? I know he's in it too. But anyways, good movie. Eight bucks at Walmart. Next one is Drag Me to Hell. Uh, six bucks at the pawn shop. Two disc um, versions. Two versions of the, of the movie, unrated and theatrical. Um, I really like the slipcover. Really cool. I don't know. I wasn't really into slipcovers at first, but now they're starting to really grow on me now. I came with the slip. Um, it says, it's a Blu-ray disc. And this one is unrated director's cut digital copy disc. I don't know if this is um, a DVD. No, it's just the unrated director's digital copy. So anyways, six bucks at the pawn shop. Next one is Shallow Hell, Trading Safe, seven bucks. Um, I like this movie. I mean, I can watch it over and over again. It's just a lot of people don't think he's funny, but this I like him. I like Jack Black. He's funny, and the movie had me rolling. I mean, it's just it's just a funny concept, you know, the fact that you know he sees these 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 girls, and thinks they're all all that, but they're really like you know three hundred pound, you know, not so hotties, whatever you want to call them, and he figures out that you know he's in love with one of them. Anyways, if you, guys, if you haven't seen this, check it out, man. It's a really good flick. Seven bucks. I'm glad to own it. Last one is Real Steel. Um, really good movie. Uh, me and the kids and my wife watched it Saturday night, and we really enjoyed it. Um, I liked it a lot. I mean, I'll probably even watch it later again. You know, people think, uh, people see this, and I know everybody thought, everybody thought Rock'em Sock'em Robots. But you know what? It is a really good movie. Um, has a lot of heart. I can tell you that much has a lot of heart and um, um, it's a good movie man all around good movie the story is really 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 good in my opinion um, this is a two disc set for blu-ray plus DVD uh, I got this for twelve dollars and some change because of the five dollar coupon and because of the five dollar trade and save now the five dollar coupon was only for the three disc which was the blu-ray DVD and the d digital copy but because I know the people at Best Buy they kind of ran you know did a price match for you know, ten dollars off completely so I got it for twelve dollars, no, thirteen dollars, and like seventy-eight cents. Anyways, good movie. Check it out if you haven't seen it. The picture quality is amazing, and um, hopefully this video will upload because this is the second time I've done it. The first one I did it in seven twenty, which I shouldn't have done. So this one's in four eighty p. So it should be a lot better. Um, 
Thanks for viewing, guys. I know I've been absent for a while. I'm glad to be back. And, um, you know, I'm not going to lie and say, you know, I've been busy with this. I wasn't busy, bro. I was just lazy. I'm just lazy to sit here and stand in front of this camera and review all this. But you know what? Um, I'm back. And I'll hopefully start doing a video every day. Uh, not every day, bro. Every week. You know, my updates and stuff like that. Um, I'm still trying to get a better camera because my, my phone, I cannot edit it. So I just run it straight through mistakes or not. So once I get a better camera, I can start editing and putting in uh, music and, you know, pictures and stuff. Because I really like the way some of the, like, um, Andrew Bellina's intro, really nice. Clay Singer's, um, Gene Kelly, King of Movies, The Flick Pick, Aficionados, Film Fan Pete, Tyler Preston. All these guys have really good intros. And I want a good intro. I want to be able to edit my stuff. So uh, let me get my taxes back and I will be getting a new TV, surround sound system, and I will be trying to get a new camera. So... Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.